Hi everyone, it's Miss Phantom Fangs here. I promised to do a question and answer video some time ago, so I finally had the time to organize that. So I'll answer your questions as best as I can. Uh, some of them are a bit tricky, like how many species exactly do you have? I have a lot. <laughs> so I'll answer them as best as I can. All right, first questions. How many animals do you have total? Which is your favorite one if you could only keep one? Can you do an OBT care video? Thank you. Okay, how many animals do I have total? Well, roughly, um, I've got six cats, two turtles, six skinks, seven dragons, uh, three monitors, uh, 30 snakes, around 20 geckos, over 300 spiders, and that includes trapdoors, uh, tarantulas, funnel webs, redbacks. Um, I've got around 20 scorpions, over 50 snails and slugs. Um, that includes a lot of different species. I have one sulfur crested cockatoo, which you can probably hear occasionally in the background. Uh, I have two velvet worms, four giant burrowing cockroaches, around about 10 mantises, uh, over 100 stick insects of various species, and over 30 centipedes. Next question, what is your favorite reptile and why? Uh, my favorite reptile of all time is the saltwater crocodile and that's just because of how amazing they are. And they're so big and just absolutely incredible, the strength behind them, they're real living dinosaurs. So that's why it's my favorite reptile. And just to go back to the first question too, sorry, I've just realized, can you do an OBT care video? No, I can't. I don't actually own an OBT. In Australia, we're only limited to native animals, and of course, OBTs aren't native, so I don't have one. So I had no idea as to the care for that. Sorry. Next question. What was the first invertebrate pet you owned, and why did you end up owning it? Uh, the very first invert that I owned was when I was 18, and it was a bird-eating spider. I had just got my reptile license and started getting into reptiles in a really big way and was terrified of spiders. I couldn't even handle to look at a picture of a spider. It would just scare the pants off me. And I hated it. I really hated it. So while I was in a pet shop getting some supplies for my reptiles, they had a bird-eating spider there for sale. So I did it. I bought it. I came home. And the very first night, the, the pet shop had told me they can't climb glass. It was in a cubed glass enclosure, and it was climbing up the walls. And, of course, it had a lid on it, but I was terrified. I sat there with a can of Mortine, which is bug spray, and basically threatened the spider not to come out. Not that it could anyway, but I was just absolutely terrified and uh, sat there all night watching it. And I ended up becoming extremely fascinated with it. And every day at 3 p.m. this spider would reweave his web. And his name was Herschel. Don't ask me why I named him that, but that's what it was. And I just fell in love with him. He was just absolutely incredible and it just fascinated me. And that's why I ended up owning inverts, because I was essentially scared of spiders and I didn't want to be scared of spiders anymore. And that's how I overcame it and now it's out of control. <laughs> Next question, when did your current animal collection start? Um, my current animal collection started in 2011. I got out of reptiles for a couple of years because I had some children and at that stage I had really big scrub pythons and lots and lots and lots of bird eaters so I actually sold everything and concentrated on my family and now that they're a bit older I have restarted again, so back in uh, 2011 I started up again. Next question, do you have anything for sale? If so, what do you have? Yes, I do. Uh, at the moment I have a current list of everything available on my Inverts and Herps Facebook page. Uh, it's got a photo of everything there and, and the prices. And unfortunately can only ship within Australia and not to Western Australia because that's the law. Can you do a mantis update? Yes, I certainly can. I've put it on the list. Have you got a frilled neck lizard? Yes, I do. I have a one and a half year old frilled neck lizard. It's a male and his name is Barney. 
Next one, what is your favourite reptile? Um, I've already answered that. My favourite reptile is a saltwater crocodile. Next one, what was your first reptile or invert? My very first reptile was a turtle, which I'm sure was illegally obtained. Uh, caught from the creek back when I was about five years old. I really love that turtle. Um, invert was, of course, Herschel, the bird-eating spider. And question two, what got you into reptiles and inverts? To be honest, uh, I've always had a fascination, but Steve Irwin was my hero when I would watch him on TV. And I think he pretty much inspired me. Uh, next question, how long have you had reptiles? I've kept, like I said, I had the turtle when I was very young, but as of the age of 18, I began collecting in a serious way uh, when I got my reptile license, so about 13 years. Question two, what scorpions should I get? I had a black rock, but he died a few days ago, so I'm looking for a cheapish one. Uh, I like uh, Iridacus elongatus. They're a nice big hardy scorpion but black rocks are one of my favorites but if you're having problems with them I'd try an elongatus. Next question, will you be selling hatchy thick tails when they hatch? Yes I will. Um, they will go for around about $70 and should be probably in about another month. How old were you when you got your first invert herp and what do you plan on getting next? Um, I was five or six when I got my turtle and 18 when I got my first invert. What do I plan on getting next? Honestly, <laughs> it's an addiction. Whatever sort of comes up and I see and say, oh, I have to have that is what I get. So <laughs> I don't have any plans on getting anything next. Uh, the only sort of thing I am looking at is getting a female rough scaled python for my male. Next question, do you recommend Ridgetail monitors as a first time monitor? Absolutely, they're awesome. Um, one of the best monitors you can have. Uh, very cute and they be can become very tame if you spend some time with them. So I would definitely recommend a Ridgetail as a first time monitor. Next question, how many species in total do you keep? That is a really good question. I do not know. Um, lots and lots of different species. I've got different species of trapdoors. So many different species of tarantulas, even carpet pythons. I've got lots of different species of Morelias. So, look, at a guess, I'd say between 50 and 100. That's a radical guess. Next question, what do you like more, herps or inverts? That's really hard. Um, I don't think I can completely answer that. They're both very different and all species are extremely different. I just, I really love them all for their own uniqueness. So um, I can't answer that. I'm sorry. It's too tricky. And last question, how much have you spent on your invert collection so far? I'm well over a few thousand dollars. I don't keep track of it because that's just scary but I am well over a few thousand dollars. All right, guys, well, thanks for your questions. Um, I hope I've answered them okay. Some of them were really hard because I don't have a complete list of every single species I have. I do for the reptiles because they're all on license, but with the inverts, it's a bit trickier. Uh, maybe that's something I should do one day. Uh, thanks for all of your questions, and there's been lots of video requests lately. I have got them down on a list, and I will get to them. And thanks very very much for just watching my videos. I really enjoy doing them and I hope they help. And if you do have any requests, please ask because a lot of the times I don't know what you guys want to see. So if you can tell me, that would be great because I love to share all of this and I love that this is getting some people involved in the invert and herb industry. Uh, and it's great meeting you guys at expos and festivals and things like that. So. I really, really appreciate that everyone watches and supports this site and also inverts and herps. Alright, thanks everyone.